I'm a little late to the party, but there is some new stuff. We got Torna, we got Patch 1.5.2, we got bugs. Let's talk about it. Hi everyone, it has been a while, and I know I'm late to this, I normally would do Xenoblade news like that, but I have been incredibly busy over the last two days, I just didn't get a chance. Now the first thing I want to talk about is patch 1.5.2 has been released, and this is the patch that brings Elma into the fray as a blade, and also a brand new blade, Corvin. Now I have spoken about this before, we had these data mined leaks uh, much earlier than when this patch was coming out, so we knew this was coming, but there's a lot of cool stuff in addition to that. In patch 1.5.2, we got swimsuit uh, costumes, which you can earn in challenge battle mode, uh, which is something that has been in every single Xenoblade game so far, so it's... Uh, as some people are happy about it, a minority are angry about it as if this game is all about fan service. Complete rubbish. The swimsuits are actually really well designed and really awesome. Um, but in addition to Elma, we got the return of the overdrive mechanic, specifically for Elma, and that comes from her games, Xenoblade Chronicles X. And we also got a music track from Xenoblade Chronicles X as well, the same as uh, with Shulk and Fiora, when you're doing a unique monster battle, the BGM will change. And in this case, it's the track Uncontrollable from Xenoblade Chronicles X, so that's really awesome. There is a problem with this patch though, some people have noticed that it's introduced a bug. And recently Takahashi has sat down and let us know about this bug, what you can do to uh, prevent it, and when they'll be fixing it. So in version 1.5.2, you will occasionally get the error, quest cannot proceed after battle with specific quests. And this happens because if you defeat an enemy that is the clear condition, so to complete the quest, you have to kill this mob. If you kill that with a special move, a chain attack, or a blade combo, the event after the battle won't be played. It's just a bug. So there is a workaround. If you kill the enemy with an auto attack or single arts, then it will die and it will proceed as normal. They will be fixing this in version 2.0, which is coming with Torn of the Golden Country on September 14th. And speaking of Torn of the Golden Country, they have released a brand new story trailer. It doesn't reveal too much, you know, it's, it's very light, but it is awesome and there is some really cool uh, mech on mech fighting. So you should totally check that out. Uh, it gives you a little brief overview of, of what's going to be happening in there and it, it looks really awesome. And I guess it confirms the the Siren mechanics, maybe, which was already sort of leaked. So Siren might be making an appearance as somewhere in a battle, which would be really cool. So other than that, guys, how are you enjoying patch 1.5.2 so far? Or are you just now learning about it somehow? <laughs> it's been everywhere on my Twitter feeds. But um, yes, I'm sorry for being a little bit late. Hopefully I'll be able to bring you the news a little sooner next time. I'm super looking forward to Torn of the Golden Country. And other than that, guys, thanks for liking, subscribing, and sharing, and I'll see you all soon.